The family of a girl who died in a house explosion in Dallas last year is set to speak before Texas lawmakers at the state capitol. Our Jennifer Lingren is live in the northwest Dallas neighborhood where the explosion happened with a look at the proposals that are now on the table. Jen. Well, Russ, that blast leveled the Rogers family home. All that remains here now is an empty lot where that house once stood. But the effects of the explosion are lingering more than a year later, and a lot of people in this neighborhood say they want more regulations in place to prevent a disaster like this from happening again. Atmos Energy has said that shifting soil and heavy rain are to blame for that pipe leak that led to the explosion in February of 2018. 12 year old Linda Rogers died, and today members of her family will speak before the Texas House Energy Resources Committee at the state capitol. Representative Rafael Anchia is proposing three bills he says would improve transparency with natural gas companies. HB 864, 866, and 868 require companies to take a number of safety steps from replacing all existing cast iron pipelines before 2022 to creating an online mapping system so people can check for leaks where they live. Neighbors in this Northwest Dallas area are still coping with the explosion that happened here. It was very hard because uh, we had to move out of our homes. A couple of the neighbors moved and uh, of course we had a life that was taken. The House Committee will help hear testimony on those three bills this afternoon, but they are not expected to take a vote on this today. And Russ, by the way, we have reached out to the NTSB, which is overseeing the investigation on this explosion. The last it stands with them is that they should have their final report by the end of April. Live in Dallas, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News. Uh,